Hello, hooligans, and welcome back. Um, today's question is, when is racing for training better than solo workouts for training purposes? Um, this is a, a, a really good question and a really interesting question. So I tend to think there's a, there's a couple things going on here. One, if you, if you have an A race, a race that you are going to you know, do very specific training for, and then, and then taper a lot to make sure that you're at your absolute peak fitness. The more of those kind of races you do, the less training you get and the less overall progress you make in a year. So if you have like five of those a year, guess what? You're not really going to get faster over that year. You're just going to kind of maintain. Um, but if those are more like B races where you rest up for a few days beforehand, then those are going to have less impact on training. So generally what we say is more racing means less training and training is where you get the, the, the bulk of your physiological benefits. Now you can absolutely do like C races, which I'm a big fan of, which are you go race, but it's just another of the workouts in the week. Um, and there's some benefits to like A, B, and C races. Um, but largely, if you're trying to decide, should I do a workout or a race? Um, a lot of it is down to what are your weaknesses right now and what are your goals? If you suck at skills, uh, you might want to go race and practice those skills. If you... Um, get super nervous at races, you should go race more. If you're, if you're missing out on racing skills, go race. If you are really needing to work on the physiology itself, go train instead. Have a good day.